All right, well, I got a little review here today on the Zygu DH100. It's a 12 volt battery power supply that is portable. It's got some useful features on it. We'll see how it works around the radio. The DH100 by Zygu is a power supply from battery. It's a pretty neat little unit. It has the power pole out for 12 volts at eight amps. Also has two USB ports, AC outlet port, and a barrel connection port for USB-C in and out as well. It's got wireless charging at the top and it's got a pretty useful LED light in the back. And we're finna see just how this thing works around your radio because is it noisy or is it okay? Let's see. Charlie, so I started out here on 40 meters checking it out with a little portable vertical antenna. It's really hard to see the battery indicator light in the daytime. So you'll see me hit that button a couple of times, not knowing whether it's on or not. But this is with the unit turned on and the AC turned on with the power poles plugged in to the ICOM 705. Now the unit is turned off. You see the noise goes away. Let's try doing a AC adapter. Turn the unit back on. There's the regular DC. And then look at all the AC lines that shows up. And I thought, well, that's pretty bad, but could it be worse? Let's plug USB cable into it. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, cable's a little broke, but it functions fine. It's just the outer jacket. So I moved around, see, can you get this thing away from the radio enough? You know, not within a reasonable distance. Let's see, does the light put out any noise? Oh. There goes the light. Turn it on high, actually, the noise goes away. How about that? You hear the strobe in there a little bit. And that low power setting of the LED light is really noisy. It's interesting to me. But the high power is not. Now, if we disconnect the radio and we have no connection to it, turn it on. Well, it's not actually on right now. Thanks a lot for Missouri. Have a great day. Kilo night, Charlie Tango. I'll get it figured out in a minute. There we go. So, without the radio having a physical connection to it, it's still picking up. The AC noise coming out of that adapter. Could it be just the adapter? Maybe I need to do some more testing. But that is a brand new typical AC adapter for a phone charge. Man, look at those lines. So that's uh that's 40 meters. Let's go over to 20. Alright, so I changed antennas, went over to 20 meters. Make the scope a little bigger for y'all to see. Alright, we got the lights that come on, so and you can clearly see it on the scope. Also interferes with 20 meters. AC adapter in and turn the AC power on. There it is. So that right there shows you it could be just the AC adapter. I'm going to go back and, and try that. Because the AC button was still active. I didn't cut it off before I unplugged it. 
but the power poles connected to the icoms charging port is definitely picking up the noise from the circuitry inside of the dh100 zygu all right so i went and done a couple different configurations to test this noise this is a different wall wart that i found for a flashlight charger it's not affecting anything in the shack this i plugged the 705 power poles into it thinking let's get a physical connection did not change anything here it is with that noisy adapter outside nothing um, move it all around get it real close to the antenna port just not picking anything up it's not bothering the 7300 either so one thing about it is the shack's grounded so when you're out portable you're usually not grounded so let's take it outside and see what it does here this i've got it not connected to the 705 20 meter whip running a solder station pretty clean and here i move it away got it far away still not bothering anything and here we got the 705 connected by power poles into the ac and of course we know what it's going to do when we actually turn the 12 volts on there it goes and oh my i haven't even turned the solder station on yet watch this yeah that's uh some real heavy interference there enough of that i've even noticed even with the battery unit turned off just plugging the 705 up introduces a little bit of noise to it and then that's with the unit turned on you notice when i unplug the power poles and plug them back in there's a little noise difference and of course there's the balfang wall wart we know that was going to throw some noise in there But then again, this same charger with several other Baofangs, Wushuns, Motorola, whatever I got back there on the HT wall, Retivas, TID Radio, TalkPod, none of those bother my radios inside the shack. And I can only assume because maybe it's grounded. Just quick thinking. But undoubtedly outside in a portable setting, I've really got to watch the noise sources. So what do I think about the Zygu DH100? I think it's a great little product. Why not have one of these around? Power goes out, you got a big flashlight, need to walk around in the dark, or you just need to see something better on table, picnic table, I don't know. The flashlight's great on it. The power output on this thing is great. You got, what does it say? 24,000 milliamp battery it says it has in it. 88.8 .8 watt hours is what it's rated as in the book. It has plenty of power options to power all devices that you probably think of. It works great as a little battery pack. It's small and light and be easy to pack up somewhere, just keep in a cabinet or something. It will power ham radios. I've made some contacts on my 7300, didn't sweat. Of course, it's not gonna sweat with 705 and some other portable radios you may have. I wouldn't run 100 watts out of the park with it and, you know, of course, noise is also an issue. May not be an issue with your model radio. I don't know if it's Radio Pacific, but you've seen my test and how it done. Uh, 
get you a different battery pack use this to charge phones tablets something else run your solder station in the park you know field day something like that there's so many uses for this just because it's got a little noise on my 705 doesn't mean you shouldn't have this thing another thing is this video is not sponsored zygu didn't send me this i mean i guess technically they did but we've had no communication about this product this product was sent to me by viewer bob bob thanks for that and bob asked if i would check this out and see what the rfi and stuff would be like using it with radios and stuff and i hope i kind of accomplished that in a simple man's way because that's how i do my science experiments so anyway bob also asked when i get done with that if i would forward this on to some other viewers so we're going to forward this over to the ham radio clubhouse and make it a part of the christmas giveaways that we come up with slowly building a list try to figure out how we're going to do that but anyway, stay tuned to my channel and the Ham Radio Clubhouse. Maybe you'll get a chance to have your name selected for this one or some other stuff. And in the meantime, check out the video over here. I appreciate you coming by. 73.